today we've got a week 13 matchup for you here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Shamrocks of St. Louis. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you take a look at our home side as we interplay here. They've handled all covers through the first three months. A perfect 12-0. Yeah, they're three quarters away to a perfect season. And now is where it really starts to get into your mind. We'll see if it affects their play in any way. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins. They come in off a loss last time out. But they've been playing better than 500 ball the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. No run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. The Dolphins set to go on offense for the first time behind their 25-year-old quarterback. Now in his fourth NFL season to a tongue of Iloa. Would you say that last week's performance by him, workmanlike in terms yeah. of numbers? One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, and that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe leans on a few other parts of the offense, and hopefully springs a receiver or two free. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. 13 carries, 51 yards. Just an all right day from him last week. He really didn't break out for the huge yardage he had hoped going in. I talked with him before the game, though. He knows this is a new, fresh opportunity. He's put last week behind him, and his focus, getting some extra yardage with every carry he receives this week. They just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Faced with their first third-down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. And they're able to afford to a hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, they've got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. They'll be led out by a third-year pro and third overall pick from North Dakota State. He battled injuries early in his career, trying to stay healthy now, and that's Trey Lance. You enjoyed Here watching that game tape, didn't you? Yeah, Last week's game. Good. Four I mean, touchdowns, right. one pick. Now, you were a little upset about the pick. I didn't know if you would play him this week or not <laughs> if you were the head coach. Yeah, they got the win. They got the win, so you got to give him another chance. Give him another shot. All right, I think the ratio is pretty good. He'll try to eliminate the interception, but he wants to keep that hot streak going, throwing touchdown passes. From the gun, it's Lance. Now, a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper, at least, a great situation for them upcoming. They're unbeaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So, I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Cam Akers, a 21-yard touchdown run. And the Shamrocks use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. 
So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. From his end zone, Wilson. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result, and he opted for the touchback. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Now a throw here, hauled in. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Now here's a fake on the jet sweep, and a give to Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. Third down. All you're thinking is, what can we do to keep this drive going to get enough yardage to move the sticks? You're certainly not thinking about taking this one almost the length of the field. Then he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Jeff Wilson with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And all in all, pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The offense trots back out, ready for this next drive. And there's the running back, Cam Akers. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We're watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw him pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and they hope to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an E. That's my English teacher right there. On first down, Lance. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Now Lance again. He'll buy some time right. He'll check this down to Akers out of the backfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. Now play fake. Lance. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Giving it to him in space. Pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Seven, seven, our score after one. St. Louis football here to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Ready? Throwing now is Lance. That's caught. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. They'll bring a tight end in motion. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Akers. Touchdown! So the record safely in his pocket. Now it's a question of how high can he go? He's just become the first ever, Charles, to score 30 times in a single season. Well, let's certainly savor this moment, the first time ever, as you just noted, that someone has hit 30. What a ride this has been. Now Blankenship on for the PAT. And he 
He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was Cam Akers who capped it off with a touchdown. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. Miami's offense set and ready to go. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Open man is Duvernay. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll send a receiver in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Toss play to Robinson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Juwan Bentley was the one who found his way through and finished off that play. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through the big-time pick six. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good, and it's now 21-7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. No return here for Wilson. It's a touchback. It'll come out to the 25. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. The last time, everything looked pretty good except that final play on the pick six. And now they've got to come right back out here, Charles, and try to... Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one. Intercepted. Picked off by Thorne Martin. And that's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. And they just gave us another example right here. A strong defense on something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. On play action, Lance. That's going to be taken in by Downs. Touchdown! Josh Downs hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Shamrocks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. And Wilson is perfectly content to bring this out to the 25, a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Throwing now is Tugabai Lower. That one complete to Hill. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. Jalen Waddell deep to return it. Pressure comes, but it doesn't prevent him from getting off a good one here. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup. Bounce didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. This offense back to work now late in this first half. On first and ten, here's Lance. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And got his man complete. And he will step out of bounds all the way down inside the 40. A big play there just before halftime. 44 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. They'll run on first down with Akers. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Ready up. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. They'll look to run with Akers. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Cam Akers on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Shamrocks would extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete bat. Three downs, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And a route is on here in this first half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. From his end zone, Wilson. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here as they begin their first series of the second half. I mean, they score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, partner, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. 
They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. He takes this for three to the 29. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. To throw, it's Lance. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. And they'll send out their punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Here's Hill on the return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And it'll be Dolphin football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you'd never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. On play action, here's Tua. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Tua wants to throw it on second down. He's across midfield, and he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. He's a gain of 25 yards. First down, Dolphins. Looking to pass, Tua. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The sack by the linebacker, Jameen Davis. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Tua. Tua, hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side. It does the big boy have the juice. He's to the 15. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressure, hurry, harass the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Rodrigo Blankenship on for the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. From his end zone, Wilson. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Miami set to take over. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A gain of nine yards. First down, Miami. And 
as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. Caught by Wilson. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Going right back to Wilson. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Two are going to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Wilson. So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. Brings up second and seven at the 37-yard line. Now Tua. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 40-yard line. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. We're in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. From the gun, it's Tua. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Deron Payne able to record his fifth sack of the season. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Tua sets up to pass it. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They'll wind up losing 10 there, a full 10 yards, so that one hurts. And it brings up third and goal. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. Back to throw here. To a hit, and the ball is out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Okay, and they just continue to roll right along, really. This has the looks of yet another victory as they hope to polish it off here in quarter number four. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Second and ten. A give up the middle to Akers. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of 
scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and it may be a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Forced out to his left. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but, boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one. 